crafty peeps okay this is part two of the beautiful box that i just got done doing um and i have glued it to where it will stay open like this so that the dress will bevel out and what you do is is you just kind of overextend it and then you're going to glue down that seam and now it won't close and also you if you want um see i put a beautiful piece of bling on the back so you can actually put feet on this and then lay the dress in there if you want um and all you have to do is just glue uh, overextend the seam and glue it right down the center there now i've cut out a piece of paper this is just a pattern piece of paper that i had i thought it was very floral and beautiful and i wanted to put it um on the inside of the the cover here and uh, I'm going to run it straight through my Xyron. Uh, I think this is going to be up, but it's too small. Let me get my bigger Xyron sticker machine. I'm telling you, ladies, the Xyron machines are absolutely awesome. And, uh, they really, really, really make things a lot easier as far as creating things, turning things into circle. I mean, circle. Lord, it made you thinking circles and glue. Okay. And then you're just going to trim it off. Isn't that beautiful? Now it's a peel and stick sticker. Um, I'm going to leave this because I will be using it some more. Okay, so um, the boxes are available at creatingwithdetailsstore.com and you are going to love it. She has, uh, May has uh, lots of other designs um, and stuff, so... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in there like this. I hope you can see this. Start in that corner. Work the way down. Now I'm not worried about it not meeting or butting up to that edge because we are going to use the same trim on the outside as we did we're going to do it on the inside here okay so I'm just going to lay this down like that and I'm going to get my hot glue gun and I'm just going to start on this side like so and this again is that trim it's a trim from a wedding dress. So you're just going to press it in there like that. Then you're going to snip it off there. That is my mother. She's going to have to wait. What she'll call my husband here in a minute. <laughs> oh, you better answer it, Daniel. I'm in the middle of hot gluing. Hey. What? Uh, are you going like Rumbo? Hold on a minute. How did you, Mama? My, I did not touch my phone, and my phone answered. Y'all saw that on video. I got this on video. My phone answered your call, and I didn't touch it. Oh, whatever. I'm on video. Are you kidding me? That was creepy. Y'all saw that on my video. Oh my gosh, everybody in America is going to see that now. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, my mom has possessed my phone. I swear to God, it, it, it answered. Am I going to make rum balls? I don't know. Well, you're going to have to buy the, the choice of his liquor for him. Yeah, I'll probably say it. He's probably dressed up. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, are you coming over uh, 
the 23rd to be helping me with all this? Yes. And stay in the night? Probably. Yeah, probably. We'll have to get it ready. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'll talk to you more about this, Mama, when I get done with this project. Okay, call me back. Bye. All right, bye. Y'all, that was creepy. That was creepy. Or if I have a feature on my phone I don't know about. I have never done that before. It's never done that before. It answered on its own. That is creepy. <laughs> I'm recording, but seriously, it's creepy. I don't know what it did. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Um, finish tacking that in. If y'all know my mother, I know if y'all follow my videos, you know my mother is very, very um, verbal. And I've caught her like two or three times in some funny situations. And <laughs> I will never take them down because they're classics. Uh, but um, yeah, that was creepy. Y'all, that was creepy. That was just, uh-uh. Miss Angie, don't play that. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Now, all you're going to do is just basically uh, find your measurements. I'm going to use my cutter here. And you're going to do this for all sides. I wonder if I have a command like answer mama. Like when I said I'm not going to answer mama, it did it. Because I was in the middle of inking. That scared the sh out of me. No, no, no. I'm in the video. You go play, go try it with Michaela. Say call Michaela. Uh, answer Michaela. Answer. Say answer Michaela. I think my mom possessed my phone. <laughs> answer Daniel and it had it picked up. Is it you it, oh so it was a talk thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaker too. Oh hands free thing. I have that on no. Oh okay. But See I don't use all the features of a smartphone. No one does that now. <laughs> I know. I I was just like that's pretty cool though. Yeah, it's made for like if you have a hand free headset, you can just say answer so and so. Yeah, that was creepy though. All I heard was, Are you making round balls? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> it's never a dull moment here. Ever. Uh, where is my, um, three inch stick and make a. Yeah, see, it works if you just say answer phone. I didn't say, I said I'm not answering but, mama. But it must have thought you said answer phone. Whatever. I don't know. Where is my three inch sticker? My jigger. Is that the one that run out? No, it's the purple one. It's a little square purple one. I'm sorry, ladies. I really am. It's been, it's one of these eventful days today. 
Um, and it's part two of. That's a blue one. That's the one you run out of. Yeah, I can just use this. I'm going to use my Zyron Mega Runner. It's a purple. Nope, not that. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to run some adhesive and make sure that I get all of the the edges here. That was creepy. <laughs> You want some round balls? <laughs> well, anyway, getting back to my mother. Um, we, uh, I've caught her in some pretty funny situations. Oh, my God. I would not take them down because they're, like, classic. They're like, uh-uh. No. Sorry, lady. You're not, uh-uh. Um, but my mom's very verbal she's very down to earth and will tell you how it is when it is and where it is so that was funny you gotta make some round balls just keeping it real is all i'm saying just keeping it real that's one thing about my show anything can happen and that's life and that's what's enjoyable um you know because i'm down to earth and i'm not like a perfectionist as far as everything has to go like clockwork because that would absolutely drive me bonkers um so i mean basically i'm recording in a way as if i'm not re you know that i would be in my craft room i would get the same phone calls i would probably get the, the same interruptions and everything and um you know there's just not much we can do well poodle poo well that dress is going to fill that area really good let me set that dress in there okay I'm gonna set it up like that and get the dress yeah it's gonna have to okay the bottom half is gonna be covered but the top half I'm gonna have to do the I wonder if I have this piece of paper, another piece of this paper. I don't know. Um, I'm also going to run some cording down through here as well. Let me go look and see if I got another piece of this paper and then I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I'm fixing to pull out my inner furniture making um, part of me. I've never done this before. And Fee, uh, Fiona Jennings always does these amazing miniatures. And I've been watching her for years. So I'm going to do a table. And it's going to be, it's not like a table. It's going to be like a shelf. So I got some chipboard here. And I just took my Tim Holtz scissors. And just kind of, you know, just kind of made a like a curvature here and something tells me this one needs to go in just a little bit more hang on okay that looks better and it's going to go right here but I'm not you know some people think okay you're going to attach it and it's going to flop down well um, when you cut off your curves, you have these little pieces left over. And uh, we're going to use them as, we're going to make them, you know, like brackets. Um, like when you hang up uh, the clothing uh, racks in your closet. So basically it's going to, we're going to glue one here and then glue one in the center. So the closer in the center, the more stability it has. I mean, that's common sense with any like furniture or shelving that you put in your home on the walls. Except there are no studs here and uh, we can't, um, you know, nail into those. So, um, 
I'm going to create a shelving uh, and put it right here. But I'm going to um, do the shelf and then we'll paint it in white gesso. And then I'm going to do some texturing with uh, some molding paste and kind of give it a, a roughy, a rougher, uh, shabby chic look. So now my first thing I want to do is I want to find the two points that I'm going to put those little brackets that I made. Um, if you really want to learn how to do miniatures, definitely, definitely follow Fiona's channel and um, she will, she guides you through all kinds. Just amazing. Okay, this is exactly four and three fourths. I do not know how I did it, but I did it. Okay, so where's the ink pen? Where's the ink pen when you need one? Here's a pencil with no ink. What is that eyeliner doing in there? Okay. So, if it's three fourths, four and three fourths, I want to make sure, I'm trying to give myself enough room. Okay, I'm going to do one at one and a half, and then three and a quarter. And that should be right in the center. You know, pretty good. So that's what that is. All right, so. Now, all you're going to do is take hot glue, and the longer piece is what's going to go against the wall, and of course the shorter piece is what's underneath the the thing. So, all you're going to do is put a, a nice generous amount of hot glue, so when I flip this over, yeah. And you're probably going to have to hold this in position and if you have extra hot glue you can just take your finger and yeah. all right now again the longer piece is going to go against the wall make it flush to the back watching Fiona and then watching my husband and watching my dad over the years um, you know you pick up stuff and if you actually just look at a piece of furniture long enough you can actually build it in your mind and if you you know these are like basic shelving units so now it's going to look like that against the wall and now it's going to have that stability and then you're just going to run a bead of glue on this side and down these sides but uh, before I do that I'm going to paint it in white gesso so um, and I'll be back to show you that part now before we go on to that part I want to show you what I had done I had a, a metal wire uh, piece of wire so I hung it inside the top of this little closet then I made a wire hanger I don't know if I'm gonna cover this or not I'm still on the fence about it so now when I hang my dress oops, got hands over me. Um, when I made this dress I had I made spaghetti straps so now I have a place to hang the dress so that it's not glued in there and it's open and it looks like it's a boudoir closet and then here we're going to have a nice little table with maybe some perfume bottles or something and then a beautiful frame from Prima that's going to have a beautiful photo in it and uh, I also I don't know I want to incorporate lighting in this but I'm not sure yet so but this part here I think I turned out really pretty um, and I might go ahead and run, I'm going to do some beadwork like back here and along that side where you see uh, the, the white, you know, do some more work back there as well. So there's, it's a process, but it'll get done and you're going to want to make tons of these.
Okay, so now the next thing I need to do is uh, paint my table. And then um, I'll come back and show you what all I've done. All I'm going to do is take uh, this cream color beading here and just ah, ah, there we go and just run it along the the white edges there all the way through the box okay so easy peasy on that part and I'll be right back okay I've got a lot of things pulled up here um, now here are some beautiful appliques that are located at the creatingwithdetailstore.com and she's got several different beautiful small styles and I wanted to use this one in particular because I've decided against putting the uh, the uh, molded paste on there instead I'm just going to have it this draping um, off the table like this so the first thing I'm going to do is glue that on to the table. I'm trying to stay straight, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to glue this down. Then you're just going to snip off any excess. Glue it down on the back there. And then if you want, so that it will help um, keep this um, piece draped. Um, you can add a little hot glue just right there like that okay so now what I'm going to do is glue this onto the book here and so this is going to be like a one shot deal so bear with me here okay here we go awesome oh, finally Ooh, love it see doesn't it look cute okay now these are prima frames and uh, they are the um, Shabby Chic Treasures Prima Frames. Now, May carries uh, Prima stuff. And I think she has these in there. They're really good for, like, small um, things. So, what I've done was I went over onto my Pinterest page, which will be in the description box down below. And I measured the inside of each frame. And I scaled down my photos to fit each frame. So now what I'm going to do is a collage here um, right above right above the uh, shelf here. Okay, there's one. I'll we'll put that one just like that. Oh, it glued too quick. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 I know. No, 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 no. Hang on now. I had got it in there crooked, so I'm going to have to lay this down.
Okay. Now I'm going to lay that like that. And lastly, I'm going to put this one right up there. Okay. There we go. Awesome. So now I'm just going to um, insert um, the rod here to accommodate and I'm going to glue it in place I want to get it as close to the top edge as I can you don't want to get it as even as I can there. Okay, I'm just going to put a little dollop of glue on each little end here. Just for added security. Okay, now I think I'm going to wrap my um, hanger in cloth and then um, the dress will hang like that. There's the dress with the little uh, pictures and, and stuff and then I'm going to put a bouquet. I'm going to make a bouquet of roses and set them right here and uh, I'm going to do that using Wild Orchid Crafts products. But I think I'm going to make my hanger a little bit shorter so that it can get up off the ground and have some flow into it. So, all right. Um, sit back and watch the speed it up process. Or I'll come, no, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, watch the speed it up process because i got to figure out what I'm going to use as a vase. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, um, this is a teapot uh, bead, and it's uh, a teapot cap, and what you have to do is you buy the teapot, and then you have to find a bead um, that will go in the center of the teapot, can you see me, I'm sorry, um, in the center of the teapot, and this is just a, a corsage pin, so I glued everything, and I figured... You know, it would make for a great um, little side table piece. You know, every girl needs her little tea time. And then I found a crown because I think every fairy needs a crown. Um, and these are available in different colors and different uh different shapes at uh, creativedetails.com creative and these pieces here are just ones that I've had and one looks like a, a mirror so I thought that would be pretty to lay right there and this is a thimble it's the only thing I can find so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it into some lace and I'm going to make a real pretty vase with it but I don't want to mess up a a whole um, applique to do that. So I'm going to dig in here and see if I can find um, another style of applique. Now I have some wedding pieces here. I think I'm just going to use this. This is just a, a standard piece of lace. And I pulled out several small, um, tiny um, roses from Wild Orchid Crafts. And uh, they're going to look great in the little 
pot here. All right. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue some lace rather taut around here. Oh yeah, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this right around the rim of the vase. Okay, so I'm just going to go right around that rim of the vase. Like that, and um, May has tons of different beautiful bling pieces. Um, that you can use and take advantage of. I don't think this bling piece is big enough to go all the way around, but no worries because that piece is going to be seen. Um, it's not going to be seen. It's all going to be on the back. Now that is a shabby chic vase. Very shabby chic. And it can sit right here and have the dangles dangling down from it. Okay, now I'm going to add these. And we're starting off with a dozen. I mean, it depends on how you want your little arrangement to be it's all up to you on how you want it to look and see what I'm doing is I'm trying to kind of keep it flat on one side because it's got to lay against um, the wall the little backdrop there now I'm adding some of these sprays that are also available. Okay. I'm going to add, we'll move some of the roses upward and add one right down in there. Just like that. I don't know, these might be too much. Let me see. Just might have to keep it, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep it small. So I can take apart a couple of these, like this one right here, and just use the flowers as holly or something. You never know. I tell you what, when you build miniatures, you can spend countless hours um, doing it because you've got to, it's like building a house or, um, or, you know, something of that nature because it is, you got to think about everything, you know, how you want the layout to look about the walls and the floors and the, my mom wanted a, a dollhouse for Christmas but the clincher was I had to put it together like one of them professional ones holy moly it was mm -mm. <laughs> I was like don't make me do it but I would have if she got it I don't know I guess it you know just to be fun Okay, so um, all of the, you know, the laces and stuff that I've, I have used and the bling and, um, 
Now the laces for this dress is not in the store. This dress was made way like last year and I never could find a place for it. So I kept it, you know, um, hidden away, waiting for that perfect project to put it with. And, uh, um, I thought of this one and I was like, Ooh, this would be good. This would be perfect. So, um, but yeah, visit May store. Um, affordable. Oh my gosh, their stuff is so affordable. Um, place to go and get all of this yummy little uh, metal charms and stuff. So that's the plan. Okay. All right. I think that's enough. That's cute. I'll put one more pink flower in there because it just looks like it's got a, a empty spot. But as you can see, this takes forever. It's one of them little. Okay, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this little sucker um, down onto the table here. I just put a generous glop of hot glue and I'm going to plop it down just like that. I'm going to press it down. There we go. And now I'm just going to add, I'm going to remove the dress. Oh God, that scared me. Okay. <laughs> that was my friend. I'm sorry. And now we're just going to add the finishing touches and then uh, I'm going to wrap the uh, I'm going to wrap the hanger and I will come right back. All right. Okay, ladies, it's finished. I think this turned out beautiful and I'm going to go over with you some things. Okay. Um, you saw me, um, you know, put the flowers in here and then I just glued the little teapot and the mirror and the crown onto the table. Um, the photos are of course glued on there. Um, this is pink, uh, trim. It's just a pink, uh, woven trim and it is available, um, at creating with detail store. Um, and she has it in cream and this color and there's another color and I love it. I love that braided trim because it really does add a clean, uh, finished look to the piece and everything. And, uh, I ran some down through here and I was thinking about to like put in the top corner here, um, because I'm a stinker for like unclean edges or whatever. Um, they all have to be like clean. I almost can put like a, a filigree, like a little, put a little diamond in there. Or you can put, um, pearls or flat back pearl. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to put this flat back pearl in there. And I'll show you where I'm talking about. Uh, right here. Um, in that area there. Okay. 
I'm gonna put one there. Let's see if I got another one. Yeah. I'm trying to dig, you know, use up my uh, junk drawer. You know, all we, we throw all the pieces in there that we don't use. So, that's what I'm trying to clean up here. And I'm going to glue this one down here at the bottom okay put it right there and now all you're going to do is set it up and I did a hanger I just took some metal and I um, covered it with a piece of lace on both sides and then I trimmed it out in this beautiful um, rose and pearl trim that is also available at Creating with Details. So you can see it's a really pretty uh, woven and I just hung it on there and then I hung it in my box and this my friends is a beautiful whimsical wizard wedding dress boudoir and uh, it is as beautiful on the outside as it is on the inside so if you have any questions about anything let me know and remember uh, down below is a tutorial on how I made this dress okay it's step by step and I use bling um, that I have from my personal stash and uh, this bling here on there uh, was used from a necklace set that May has in her store. Um, check out her lovely doilies and her crown pieces and all these other little things. And she does carry the books and the metal pieces that are on the corners here. So stay for photos. And uh, like always, I will see you in the next crafty video. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Until next time, bye-bye.